All right, well, I am with Adeline today. She is our oldest daughter. How old are you? Nine, almost 10. Almost 10, she'll be 10 this fall. We are getting ready for back to school shopping. And so we wanna show you how we are gonna take inventory of her wardrobe and we're gonna make a list of what we actually need for the school year, actually need, yes. actually need for the school year. <laughs> and also, who's gonna pay for this? We'll tell you, coming up next. <laughs> Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and really glad to have our oldest, Adeline, with us. And so, Adeline, what should they do if they are watching this video? To like and subscribe. Yeah, we would appreciate that. Definitely give Adeline a thumbs up if you think she does a good job with this video. <laughs> so she said she wanted to make a video with me, right? Yeah. And I said, well, um, everyone's getting ready for back to school. Now you can't go into a store without seeing all the back to school stuff. So why don't we talk about how we are gonna get your wardrobe ready for school? Because I think you're going into fourth grade, right? And so you're, st yeah. you're starting to care a little more what you wear, what kinds of clothes you're wearing. So we are coming up with a plan for how we're gonna figure out first what you need. And then second, I thought it'd be fun once we get our list of what Adeline needs to go to some different stores so she can see what does a pair of jeans cost at this store? What does it cost at this store? And what does it cost at a secondhand store? Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. So I thought it'd be fun for you to understand why we get so much of your clothing secondhand at thrift yeah. stores. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see that for yourself. <laughs> but also for you to have an, a budget allocated so that you get to make the decision of, do I want to spend this much money on a single piece of clothing or could I get more? Yeah. Okay, so does that sound good? Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do, I actually had Adeline bring all of your clothes. Is this all of your clothes? Yeah, maybe two or three things in the laundry though. <laughs> okay, so we pretty much feel like yeah. we got almost everything. I mm -hmm. think that's important. <laughs> and then what was the second thing you did? I made a list before I brought my things down and then I looked at how much clothes I actually had and realized I, I did not need as many clothes as I thought. Were you kind of surprised when you brought yes. all your clothes down? Yeah. Very surprised. That's how we feel too as adults, Adeline, by the way, <laughs> once we get all of our clothes out. So the first thing Adeline did was write everything down and then you made a list. I said, just make a list saying what you think you'll need for the year. So I had two pairs of jeans, four pairs of leggings. Yep, that's for pants. Three yeah, for pants and then, yeah, and then two tank tops, and then and four long sleeve shirts for winter. And then a few sweatshirts. Yeah. So I think you did a really good job coming up with what you think are realistic numbers of what you'll need for the school year. So that was great. So we had the list of what she thinks she'll need for the year. Then once we got all of her clothes down here, you sorted them out into categories and you counted up then what you actually have of everything. And you were surprised, right? You had I more. Have seven tank tops. <laughs> how many would you have thought you had? Like three. Yeah, isn't that funny? How many? How many pairs of shorts? You had a lot. I bought you extra shorts this year. Uh, seven I thought, shirts as well. I thought you didn't have any. <sighs> we should have done this earlier <laughs> in the year. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then what you did was then you made a list of what you actually need for school shopping. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I actually need two um, zip-up sweatshirts. Mm -hmm two t-shirts, four long sleeve shirts, and one new pair of shoes. Yeah, so now we have our list of what we need for the school year, which I think that looks really good, really reasonable. So we have our list of what we need. So now we need to talk about who's paying for this. Mm -hmm. So what I proposed to Adeline was that I would give her $10 and then- I can work for $20. Well, for 10 more dollars yeah. I can work and I'm gonna uh, take care of the dishwasher for a week. So does that seem pretty fair yeah. to you? Okay. The other thing is, I think is cool, is you actually have more money, but why don't you want to spend your money? Because I'm saving up for a guitar. Yeah. So I think that's awesome. We have some work to do. So we're gonna take our list of the things that we need, and we're gonna head to Walmart, and then Target, and then to two thrift stores in our area yeah. that we always have good luck at. So mm -hmm. that is where we're headed next. My parents did an awesome job with this. We got most things secondhand growing up too. But once we got to the age where we started having preferences with brand names or different styles of clothing, it also seemed to coincide with where we were old enough to start earning our own money, either through babysitting or working on my grandparents' farm. And so it was like once we got to that age, my mom always provided the basics, but then if we wanted to get other stuff, brand name stuff, then we had to pay for it. I think we learned a lot through that. We took a lot better care of our clothes when we had to pay for it ourselves, and we learned the value of money, definitely. 
Okay, we didn't find anything that was uh, cheap enough. So, mm -hmm. but we I did find some things that I want to come back and get for uh, my first day of school outfit that Nana provides. <laughs> I feel like as parents right now, parenting this generation, we have to be even more intentional with teaching our kids about buying things because it is so easy to acquire stuff right now. And it is especially easy to rack up credit card debt if we're not aware of it. Mom, look at this shirt I found. It's, it's so cute, but it's $14. All right, well. Think about it. So she's only nine, but I feel like if we can start this now, hopefully it'll be something she can draw on when she's an adult. Doesn't mean she won't make mistakes, you know, we all do that and we learn from that, but hopefully she can bypass some of the pain of this all. And do you see the price on it? 89 cents. Is that a good deal or what? I'm not saying you have to get that one, but. Yeah, I don't really like this <laughs> one, but. Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah, this one's 189. I really like that. Also, I wanted her to pay in cash because if you follow Dave Ramsey at all, you know, he talks about how when we part with cash, it actually triggers the pain center in our brain and we spend less money. $13.94? That's not bad of your $20. That would be for everything. But That's pretty good. I was also going through, I realized that I don't really have this shirt anymore. Okay. So yeah, so we'll put I that one back. Be, yeah. Okay, well, this is probably a little too big. <laughs> Good thing we tried it on, huh? Yeah. When we're paying with a check card or a credit card, we bypass that. And he often talks about how when we pay cash, we, they keep the money, we get the item. When we pay with a credit card, we hand them the card, they give us the card back and the items back. So in many ways, we feel like there was no loss because we got everything back. And so it's really interesting how that works. Okay. We got a lot of clothes I needed. You're right, we are probably not going to get anything at the other stores. <laughs> I really like this technique of just taking pictures of things in the stores when they like it because especially our second oldest, she loves everything, right? Everything we see is her favorite and she wants that. And so I think it was really helpful to be able to take pictures and now she'll have a little time to go back through them and then especially before she goes shopping with my mom for her first day of school outfit. I'm two dollars over. Is that okay? Well, do you want to use your own money for the difference? No, I don't. Okay. All right. I'll just um, switch out a shirt. It's a lot more work <laughs> to do all of this, to go to all these different stores. Normally we'd go straight to the thrift store, but I, I do think that she learned quite a bit through this process. All right, so we just got back from shopping. Was it fun? Yes, it was very fun. I'm even wearing the outfit right now. She's wearing one of her new outfits. And was it interesting to compare the prices at the regular stores compared to the secondhand stores? Yes. What did you think at the first two stores? I thought I was gonna find a bunch of t-shirts at the first two stores is because like I thought why wouldn't there be a ton of t-shirts out right now but I mean there was kind of a lot of t-shirts but they're really expensive yeah they're like ten dollars and for ones I actually liked right then after those two stores we went to two different thrift stores and what did you think of the prices when we went there I'm speechless <laughs> <laughs> it was so much cheaper like the most I spent on one thing at the thrift store was probably three dollars. Yeah. yeah. So how many shirts did you get? Um. So I got six shirts. Blue. Like a poncho. Yeah, like poncho thing, and then a t-shirt. Pink t-shirt. I got this gray t-shirt that I. Really Didn't you actually get seven tops? Are you well, including the zip yeah, up? Six shirts in this zip up thing. Yeah, which so, is fun because you yeah. can layer that. And then. For all this about layers shirt, in Minnesota. That's pretty. Safe shirt. Mm -hmm. And then the one you're holding, the, like a button up. Yeah. Purple thing. So you've got seven tops and then also one pair of shoes. Yeah. Which is all you we decided you really need for the school year is a pair of indoor shoes. Yeah. So of your $20, how much did you spend? $18. So how do you feel about that? Do you feel like you did a pretty good job? Yes. So I think the only thing, what's left on your list that you still need maybe? 
couple um, more zip up yeah like uh one or two more like actual full zip up sweatshirts and like one more long sleeve shirt okay but that's all stuff we can either keep looking for or you could ask for your birthday yeah or you could ask for christmas or when you're shopping with nana for mm -hmm. your outfit so, so lots but you did kind of find some fun stuff at walmart that isn't a need but you would love to have right yes yeah so that might be what you get with nana because yeah. nana doesn't care if it's not practical right nana <laughs> <laughs> but we love nana don't we I, yes we do <laughs> <laughs> did this work out really well how we went through all your clothes first was that more helpful yeah definitely huh. we didn't like lay all my clothes out first i'd probably go buying way more than i needed true yeah, yeah. and we were able to get rid of some stuff that you know you don't mm -hmm. like to wear so hopefully now We'll get this all put back into your closet and when school starts you'll know it's only stuff in there that you like and that fits and mm -hmm. that you're gonna wear this year right yeah yeah that's awesome so the other thing we did when you were sorting through your clothes is i had you pull out anything that you weren't gonna wear that you didn't like or didn't fit anymore and <gasps> you threw this shirt in the pile why did you throw this shirt over there i don't like the like how there's like this on the outside it like sticks out and you it bought it looks, it, it looks, looks like, like a little girl yeah. shirt or something so in the past what i would have done is because i like it i would have put it back in your closet or said no we're gonna put that on the key pile and then it would hang there all year and it would never get worn and so <laughs> I am okay now realizing that I can't make you. I do, it when we're going somewhere nice, if we have a family event or something, I do get input on those outfits. But for everyday school kind of stuff, um, if there's something you know you're not gonna wear, I would rather it either get donated down now or put in the Maggie's bin for the future than for me to keep putting it back in your closet, hoping that, hoping you just change your mind about it, right? Because <laughs> that's not gonna happen. No. <laughs> okay. What should they do? For this video like subscribe and leave a comment down below yes absolutely well thank you so much for watching we would love to know what your favorite tips are for back to school shopping and how you save money with your family and we will look forward to visiting with you again really soon <laughs> i think maggie likes that shirt <laughs>